Welcome back to the Immaculata Project. My name is Bill Drew. I'm the facilities director on the St. Mary's Academy and College campus and the owner's representative for, to the Immaculata Project. Today we'd like to give you some updates on where we're at with the project on June 1st. Right now the, the roof of the cupola is on the ground. Uh, this has been erected here on the ground. They're going to be putting the sheeting and fireproofing on this and then they're going to bring a large, very large 380 ton crane to pick that up and set it on the columns that they're placing right now. So this roof section is 16 feet tall and it's 60 foot diameter. Our lady's image is 16 feet so it would be approximately from this cross member to this cross member. This space right here. We have two steel crews on site. Um, both erecting separate uh, areas. We've got one working on this main section and we have a, had another one working on the narthex and cry room section. Uh, they just pulled one of the cranes back to assist a few picks here and get this end buttoned up so that the framers can start framing that. About a week ago they just started fabricating this section. Uh, they've already have the, the cry room floor level in. Uh, they still have to do some welding that crew working on the on the east end will will be buttoning up the transept in the in the roof and the trusses will be going on probably in, starting in another week or two uh, all the light gauge trusses this is a lot of the material that's being staged for the rest of this front section and the towers so this section here that we're walking up to is the narthex and above the narthex the choir loft this was all put up in the last two weeks, really. So since April, as you can see, the back of house steel all came up and tied together. They were able to get a lot of the framing in, started sheeting the lower level and bringing that up so that we can get the waterproofers in and get the masonry started. Taking you through the front door of the church here, this, this section right here is our front porch, three arches above walk through that you've got your main doors and two sets of side doors you walk into the narthex this is the floor of the cry room uh, in the next few weeks that'll be decked and poured this whole space here is the narthex the grand staircase going down to the basement there uh, you get to this section of beams here this is the beginning of the nave this is going to be fabricated along with the two towers and then as that section above the transept and crossing com get complete they'll tie these both together. As you can see the columns are most of the columns are up for the cupola they're now tying in the top brace pieces one more column to go that's a dodecagon it's 12-sided uh, when we designed this church it designed it with a 12-sided cupola each one of those sections of the cupola will have a round window symbolizing a star in Our Lady's crown, the 12 stars in her crown. Right now, at the top of those columns, there will be another 16 feet of roof and at the base of where Our Lady sits will be 100 feet above the nave floor. The columns up there that hold up the cupola roof that are vertical, we have one right here on the ground. That pretty much shows you how big those are and right next to it is a brace and you can see the braces the diagonal braces up there uh, these are very large pieces uh, they look pretty small on on the ground those very large beams the, the the horizontal large beams up there that's a 44 inch tall 233 pounds per foot beam that is a massive beam it's this tall it doesn't look that big up in the air I'm gonna ask Chris if I can cut through this way. Right. Can I can I cut through that side and go to back of house if I go straight along the confessional route? Yeah. Yeah, so the framers have that back section wrapped up and our masonry will be starting on this section, this higher section in a few weeks. Yes. Well this is the side chapel. Mm. See a lot of the windows are already framed in. Yep. Fireproofing applied. And this section here we're in, this will be filled with geofoam and yep. slab on deck poured above. Yep. 
All right, should we go around to the back side and take a look at the waterproofing and brickwork? Everything above that bears on that. Everything below will come down to the foundation. All right, and the whole building is sheeted with this fiberglass reinforced sheetrock product. That's all moisture stable at this elevation. All right, so as we walk down here, this will all be retaining walls holding this back. And then we come around the back and see you got the sheeting all done and waterproofing is pretty far. Yep. All right, so our, all of our large HVAC units will all be sent through that space. Exactly right. All right, and the masons started. They've got the, the water table stone in. That's all fastened, and I see they're starting to lay the brick. Yep. Um, they, uh, we, we started into that just yesterday. Uh, honestly, we've struggled watching. We just get just enough water down that we won't be able to get our flashing in and inspect it where it would here on the wall. So we've been waiting, waiting, waiting. Yesterday, we, we, we finally got a break. Uh, everything dried out. We got our first round of flashing onto it. Our cast stone, which is that water table, that little two-piece water table, they, they've got that in there, all anchored back to the wall. They're getting ready to start the masonry. They, they've got that section of wall. Now, they'll go ahead and take that all the way up to the uh, future roof line. All right, so once that cast stone piece is in, in the first few rows of brick, it's just go time. They can run right up the wall. Yep. Thanks, and keep up the good work, Chris. No all right, we'll see you later. So what you can expect over the next three months is the continuing of that of the steel structure. You'll, you'll really see the front facade come up, the, the towers. That'll carry into the main crossing. You'll see the cupola uh, to top be put on. Stay tuned for that. We'll, we'll probably send out an update. You'll continue to see the sheeting move around the building and very closely behind the, the waterproofing and the masonry work. So this project is coming out of the ground fast. We're in a vital time. We need to pray for good weather. If you're new to the project, please visit anewimmaculata.org for more information.